Hello and good evening, everybody. I hope everyone is doing just fine. Welcome to the uh, All Rounder Cup. All of our participants, parents, and audience who have tuned in to watch some amazing performances this Friday evening. I am super thrilled to be here. My name is Archie, and I'm going to be the host for today. Uh, today, we're here for the GK Quiz Finals Challenge for grades 7 and 8. Uh, now, it has been an exciting month of October with 35 rounds of GK Quiz qualifier so far. The uh, finalists present here today have emerged victorious from 347 participants and are here to battle it out further. So here's wishing great luck to everybody. Now with us, we have someone special, our scorer. Scorer, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, have you, hi everybody. I'm Dia. I'm going to be a scorer for today. I'll just request you guys to please be loud and clear. And that's it. All the best, guys. Thank you so much for your encouraging words, Skoro. Before moving ahead, I would like to mention that please do check out and register for our various upcoming challenges through the link provided in the video description. So now, before we go ahead into the competition, let's do a quick audio and video check along with an introduction so that we get to know each other a little bit better. So when called upon, please tell us your name, your class, your school, and uh, your favorite sports or game. All right. So let us start with our first participant for today. That is Aditi. Aditi, can you please turn on your video and introduce yourself? Aditi, are you here? Can you hear me? Okay, there seems to be some issue uh, for uh, now. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, uh, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I had not received uh, the, uh, the mail of about this, ma'am. I only got the link for the Zoom, ma'am. So could you please uh, tell me my participant number, ma'am? Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll be renaming you according to your participant number, so you don't have to worry. About okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry for interrupting. No problem. Aditi, can you hear me? Okay, uh, while uh, the issue gets fixed, let us move ahead to our second participant, that is Vijay Virajita. Could you please introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. People call me Vedya Virajita, and I study in HL Public School, Bangalore, Karnataka. All right, and uh, what's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is badminton. All right. Welcome to the competition. All the very best for today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And Aditi, uh, it seems that you're unable to unmute. So or maybe we can try one thing. Please uh, try joining the meeting again. Once again, please leave and then uh, try joining again. Uh, this issue will likely get fixed then. All right. So our third participant today is Suraj. Suraj, please introduce yourself. Huh. Hello all. Uh, I'm Suraj Pai of eight of eight A Shri Kumaran's Public School. Um, and what would be your favorite sport? And my favorite sport as of now would be ski jumping. All right. Welcome to the competition. And I'm a huge Winter Olympics fan. Oh, that is amazing. Uh, and all the very best to you for today, Suraj. Aditi, are you able to unmute now? Yes, ma'am, I'm able to unmute now. Okay, please turn on your video. Ma'am, just a minute. I'll turn it on after introducing myself. But uh, you have to keep it on during your interaction as well. Okay, just a minute, ma'am. All right, till then, I would request our fourth participant, Ananya, to introduce herself. Hello, everybody. My name is Ananya. I study in class seven in the school of NCFE and my favorite sport is karate. Amazing. Ananya, welcome to the competition. Looking forward to your performance today. All right. Next up is our fifth participant. That is Joshua. Joshua, please introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. Uh, 
Uh, good evening to all. My name is Joshua Wilson. I study in Grade Eight in Acme Cat School. My favorite sport is football. Well, wonderful. All the very best to you for today. Looking forward to your performance. Thank you, ma'am. I'll request all our participants to please turn on your videos, everybody. Next up is all right, Aditi. Please go ahead. Okay, ma'am. Uh, I am Aditi. I study in Grade Seven. um i study in mitra academy school bangalore and my favorite sport is basketball welcome to the competition aditi all the best thank you ma'am you're welcome next up is kavya yes ma'am my name is kavya gandhi i studied in 8th standard uh, in the school anandiketan mannava my favorite uh, uh, sport is cricket All right, Kavya. Welcome to the competition. Next, we have Anand. Hello, I am Anand. I study in Kenshi School, Eighth Standard, and my favorite sport is football. Am I audible to everybody? Can you hear me? Please give me a thumbs up if you're able to hear me. Okay, all right. There seems to be a little bit of internet connection on my end. Hopefully, it gets resolved. Ah, uh, next up is Sanskar. Is Sanskar here today? No. All right. Next up is Pari. Pari, could you please turn on your video and introduce yourself? Pari, can you hear me? Hi, Pari, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Please turn on your video and introduce yourself. No, ma'am, just a minute. Okay. Ah, uh, meanwhile, Drup, Drup, could you please introduce yourself? Drup. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Dhruva Kannam. I study in uh, Sri Kumaran's Public School, uh, ICC Malasandra. I'm in seventh standard. I like cricket. Uh, thank you. All right. Uh, competition. All the very best. Next up is Akriti. Good evening, everyone. I'm Akriti Beurai of Grade Seven, New Era Senior Secondary School, Vadodara. And my favorite sport is badminton. Amazing, Akriti! Welcome to the competition. Looking forward to your performance today. Next up, we have Vishwas. My name is Vishwas R, and I study in Sri Kumaran's Public School, ICSC. My favorite sport is badminton. Welcome to you too, Vishwas. All the very best for today. Thank you. Pari, I would just like to you. tell that Vishwas is my uh, classmate. Oh, that's so nice. Yes, and I also think today we have three uh, children from Kumarans. Uh, oh. Actually, even I'm from Kumarans ICC. So you must be, you know, seeing many familiar faces here. That is. All right, Pari, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, so here myself, Parikadakya. I am in eighth standard, and I study in Anandikitan, Manimagar, Ahmedabad. And my favorite sport is badminton. All right. Well, that is amazing. So I believe all of our participants have given their introductions. Please give me a quick thumbs up if you have given your introduction. Okay. Can I get a thumbs up from everybody? All right. Perfect. So now, ah, uh, let's get to know some of the rules of the challenge today. I am going to share my screen here. Can you see the screen? Please give me a thumbs up if you can. All right. So once again, all round the cup welcomes you to the GK Quiz Competition Finals for Grade Seven and Eight. 
Now let's start with our all round the cup agreement here, something that we'll all agree upon. Number one, be respectful. Make sure you stay on mute so that other participants are not distracted. Also, please keep your videos turned on so that we can see you uh, actively engage with each other and show your support to them. Number two, never cheat. I am sure this is something we've all learned at school. Make sure you're sitting in a quiet background. There is no whispering or prompting of any kind. And I know we're all sincere here. We can do it on our own. Number three, wait for your turn. I'll be calling up your name when it's your turn to perform. Till then, sit back and enjoy other performances and wait for your turn. Now, suppose you have a question or doubt that you want to ask. You can use the raise hand option given on Zoom and I'll come to you. Number four, celebrate each other. Enjoy each other's performances. Enjoy your own performance. That's absolutely important. And show your support for each other by clapping for them or cheering for them. But please stay on mute while doing that. Now, do we all agree to follow the all rounder Cup agreement here? Amazing. Now, let's get to know some of the challenge-specific rules for today. You will have a total of 10 questions to answer. And you'll get five seconds to answer, answer each question. The question will pass automatically after five seconds. Now, suppose you do not know the answer to a question. You can pass that question. You just have to say pass and we'll move on to the next question. There will be no negative marking. The question will be read only once by me. I'll be reading out the question and I will not be reading out the options. After reading out the question, I'll start the timer. And after that, you have your chance to answer. So it is uh, really advised that please answer only after I finish reading the question. And while answering, it is recommended that you say option number along with the option. And lastly, listen and read the question very carefully before answering because your first full answer will only be considered. After that, if you change your answer, it won't be considered. Now, I hope the rules uh, were all clear to everybody. But for a better understanding, let's go through a quick practice session here. And our scorer here will be helping us out. Scorer, are you ready? Yeah. Great, can I please see your hands in the frame? Perfect, here we go. This is the India gate, true or false? True, false. Identify this ex-Indian president. Pass. All right, so did you all notice how a scorer answered these two questions? The first one, she read the option number as well as the option, and so the second one, she was not sure about it. So she decided to pass it. I hope the rules are clear to everybody. But if you have any questions or any doubts, please feel free to ask me at this moment. Anything that you'd like to ask? OK, so I'm assuming the silence means that we've all understood all the rules completely. That is amazing. So without further ado, let us begin the challenge. <music> Okay, Anand, do you have a question? How many passes do we get? Well, you can pass as many questions as you'd like. There's no limit to it. You have 10 so, questions. But, but you'll only the get last you'll get all 10. No, uh, the total number of questions that you'll get is 10. You will not get more than 10 questions, even if you pass uh, one or two or three or, of them. All right. Okay. So, ma'am, you don't get points if you pass any question, if I'm right. Can you please repeat once? So, if I'm right, you don't give any marks to no, pass no. questions. No. No. You'll only get marks for the correct answers that you get. All right. So, before we start the competition now, since we are live on YouTube right now, I would like to ask you how many of your friends and family are watching us live on YouTube? Please raise your hand. Okay, none. Okay, I see. Uh, all right. So, for those uh, of who are yet to watch, the link will be shared on WhatsApp, uh, on your registered WhatsApp number, if it hasn't been shared already. So, please... Uh, uh, share that link as much as possible and well, uh, invite your friends and family to watch. Also, for everyone watching us live right now, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. So now all the best to everyone here. Take a deep breath and I'm sure you'll all do just great. All right. So let us call upon our first participant for today. That is Aditi. Aditi, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right.
And here we go. Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so can I see your hands in the frame, please? Perfect. Before your challenge questions, we will be giving you one demo question. This is just to make sure that you're able to uh, see the timer and everything clearly. So this you will not be marked for this demo question, all right? Okay. Great, here is your demo question. Identify this famous Indian summer fruit. Two mango. All right, Aditi. So let's get started. One half of the world's hazelnuts are used for Nutella. True or false? One true. Dragon Boat Festival takes place in Japan. True or false? Two false. The quintessential oil used in Bengali dishes is mustard oil. True or false? One true. Identify this food. One tempura. Identify this South American food. Three burrito. For how long does this festival take place? Two ten days. In which festival do we see something like this? Two Mahashivratri. Which of these terms is associated with this festival? Two New Year. Which of these food is not a major source of carbohydrates? Three banana. Turmeric is suggested as a remedy for which ailment? Two inflammation. And that's the end of your question, Aditi. That was super quick and you were super confident today. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. Now you can sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the competition. Next up is... Uh, Vedya Virajata, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, I'm able to. Okay, then I can see both of your hands are in the frame. All right. So here is your demo question. Which animal is the national animal of India? Three tiger. Great then, let's get started. Drinking hot cocoa is linked to better memory skills. True or false? One, two. The festival of the dead takes place in Portugal. True or false? Uh, two, false. Flaxseed oil consumption helps in reducing cholesterol. True or false? One, two. Identify this food. One, Udiyanu. I identify this famous bread from Scotland. One Benok. How long is the holy month of fasting? Two thirty days. This costume is associated with which festival? One Venice Carnival. Which of these storms is associated with Dashi? One harvest. Which of these food is not a major source of dairy? Four sour cream. Garlic is suggested as a remedy for which ailment? Four cold. And that's the end of your questions. Well done. You uh, seem to know the answer to almost everything. Thank you. Now you can sit. Relax and enjoy the rest of the competition. All right. Coming next up is Suraj. Suraj, are you ready? Yes, I am. All right. Let's get you started. Can you see the screen? Yes. Great. Here is your demo question. Identify the famous Indian monument. Three India Gate. All right, let's get started now. Walnut is actually not a nut. True or false? Two false. Uh, Tio Matsuri takes place in Japan. True or false? One true. Olive oil consumption is associated with weight gain. True or false? Two false. Identify this food. 
टू वेट थ्री अवियल आइडेंटिफाई दिस फेमस ब्रेड फ्रॉम रशिया ब्लैक ब्रेड ए टू ब्लैक ब्रेड दिस सेरेमनी इज एसोसिएटेड विथ व्हिच फेस्टिवल थ्री गुरपरब This dance is associated with which festival? To Chapchar Kut. Which of these terms is associated with Shabbat? Free rest. Which of these food is not a major source of vitamin C? Were two walnuts. कमिंग Are you able to see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Great. Here is your demo question. In which Indian festival do we see something like this? For Diwali. All right. So now let's get started. Bananas are berries, whereas strawberries are not. True or false? One, two. Cannes Film Festival takes place in Canada. True or false? Two, false. Lard oil consumption is associated with obesity. Obesity. True or false? One, two. Identify this food. Three bas basundi. Identify this famous bread from Israel. Three focaccia. For how long does Diwali take place? One five days. This cap is associated with which festival? To Eid Al Fitr. Which of these terms is associated with this festival? Three Fat Tuesday. Which of these food is not a major source of iron? For coffee. Ajwain is suggested as a rem- remedy for which ailment? One gastritis. and that's the end of your questions that was an outstanding performance ananya well done thank Now you ma'am back, relax and enjoy the rest of the competition next up is joshua joshua are you ready uh, yes ma'am all right are you able to see the screen yes ma'am can i see your hands in the frame please Yes, ma'am. Here is your demo question. Identify this Indian snack. Samosa. Could you please try answering that again? Two samosa. All right, great. So let's get started now. Ketchup was once believed to have medicinal qualities that could cure, among other ailments, diarrhea. True or false? True. One true. a uh, glass strawberry festival takes place in scotland true or false one true margarine is high in trans fats true or false true one true identify this food three mashed potatoes identify this famous bread one focaccia For how long does this festival take place? Two three days. This attire is associated with which festival? Two Gudi Padwa. Which of these terms is associated with Hina Matsuri? Two Dolls Day. Which of these food is not a major source of sugar? Four dates. Cumin seeds is suggested as a remedy for which ailment? Two constipation. 
And that's the end of your question, Joshua. Well done. You were super quick and super confident. I love your performance. Well done. Now you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the competition. Next up is Kavya. Kavya, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's get you started. Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Kavya, can you hear me? Uh, Koro, are you able to hear me? Yeah. Okay. Kavya, can you hear me? Kavya, can you hear me? Am I audible to you? Okay, there seems to be some issue, I think. Kavya, are you able to hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. So let's try this again. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, ma'am. All right. So here is your demo question. Identify this Indian musical instrument. Manjira. Three Manjira. All right. So let's get started now. Raspberries are a member of the orchid family. True or false? One, true. Oktoberfest takes place in Russia. True or false? Two, false. Hemp seed oil consumption promotes heart health. True or false? One, true. Uh, Rizala, a very popular royal mudali, uh, originates from? Three, Rajasthan. From which state of India does the bread bhakri originate? Or Gujarat. For how long does Hanukkah festival take place? Three, eight days. Which dance form is performed during the Gangaur festival? Three, Garba. Which of these terms is associated with Songkran? Or Mar. Which of these food is not a major source of protein? Or bread. The, this nutrient in food is suggested as a remedy for which ailment? See, uh, thyroid. And that's the end of your question, Savia. That was outstanding. Well done. Now you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the competition. Next up is our seventh participant, Anand. Anand, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Can you see the screen, Anand? The screen? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So here is your demo question. Identify this Indian politician. Indra Gandhi. All right. So while answering, uh, please try to answer like four Indra Gandhi. Got it? Okay. Also, there seems to be uh, uh, some background noise coming from your end. So uh, in order to prevent that from overpowering your answer, or I might not be able to hear your answer. Yeah, yeah. Can I be able to? Uh, can you please repeat? Can I do it after some time? Okay, then Anand, uh, we'll come to you. I'm really sorry. All right. Uh, well, we'll try again at the end. So for now, we move on to our ninth participant. That is Pari. Pari, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, just give me a moment here. I'll get your question. And here we go. Can you see the screen? Yes. Amazing. Here is your demo question. 
identify this famous badminton player of india or a pv singh okay let's get started now a typical air year of corn does not have even number of rows true or false one true mardi gras is festival takes place in new york true or false true false peanut oil and groundnut oil are the same true or false one true the green color in the dish kothimbir vadi comes from true kothimbir sorry korean from which country does curry bread originate from japan for how long does this festival take place to 15 days this instrument is associated with which festival for ganesh chaturthi which of these terms is associated with the glastonbury festival free music which of these food is not a major source of gluten true pasta cinnamon is suggested as a remedy for which ailment true heart food and that's the end of your question sorry i really love how focused you were during your performance well done thank you ma'am Now you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the competition. Next up is our tenth participant, mm -hmm. that is Dhruva. Uh, are can you ready? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Uh, Anand. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's go with Anand for now. Dhruva will come to you after Anand. Okay. Let me get your questions ready, Anand. Give me a moment. I'll request everybody else to please stay on mute. Uh, Anand, can you see the screen? Yes, I can see the screen. Okay, here is your demo question. Identify this Indian politician. Indira Gandhi. All right. So let's go. Oh, Indira Gandhi. Wonderful. So let's get started now. Vanilla does not originate from the rose family. True or false? One fall, true. The largest hot air balloon festival takes place in Australia. True or false? One true. Coconut oil is majorly uh, used in South Asian cuisine. True or false? One true. What type of salty snack is added to the missile of missile power? Parsam, three, three parsam. From which country does the bread baslama originate? No. No. France, one France. For how long does Onam festival take place? Two ten days. People dress like this for which festival? La uh, Saint Pa. Two same par tax festival. Which of these terms is associated with loser? For tan tan da. Which of these food is not a major source of vitamin B twelve? Fish one fish. Neem is suggested as a remedy for which ailment? to anxiety and that's the end of your questions anand that was brilliant well done now you can sit back relax and enjoy the rest of the competition and now we have dhruva dhruva i yes ready? i'm right. ready ma start it just a moment there yeah, we go Can you see the screen? Yes. Great. Here is your demo question. 
identify the famous politician of India? Pass. Let's get started now. White chocolate isn't derived from cocoa bean. True or false? False. King's Day festival is majorly celebrated in North Korea. True or false? False. Palm oil is the most used vegetable oil in the world. True or false? Uh, true. One true. What type of stew is the popular Ladakhi delicacy stew? Dumpling soup. Matzah is a famous bread from Israel. For how long does the festival teach take place? Uh, three days. Mahishasur Mardini hymn is a sung as the beginning of which festival? Diwali. Which of these terms is associated with this festival? Football uh, fight. Which of these food is not a major source of vitamin E? Potatoes. Chamomile tea is suggested as a remedy for which ailment? Anxiety. And that's the end of your question, Suva. That was outstanding. You were very careful while answering and well done. Thank you. Now you can sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the competition. And now we have our uh, 11th participant that is Akriti. Akriti, are you ready? Yes, ma'am, I'm ready. Great. Let's have your questions ready as well. All right. Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Great. Here is your demo question. Identify this famous Indian freedom fighter. Sri Lani Lakshmi Bai. Amazing. Let's get you started. Apples give you more energy than coffee. True or false? One true. The Burning Man Festival takes place in the United States of America. True or false? Two false. Butter contains compounds linked to low chances of obesity. True or false? Two false. Identify this food. One yakni pulao. From which country does the bread baguette originate? To France. For how long does Pongal take place? One four days. This costume and dance is associated with which festival? To Hornbill Festival. Which of these terms is associated with Thanksgiving? Three New Year. Which of these food is not a major source of fats? Three, one milk. Cardamom is suggested as a remedy for which ailment? Two blood infection. And that's the end of your questions, uh, Akriti. That was a wonderful performance. Well done. Thank you. Now you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the competition. Next up is Vishwas. Vishwas, yes. are you ready? Yes. All right. Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Please make your hands visible in the frame. And here is your demo question. Identify this famous Indian monument. Two Kutub Minar. All right, let's get you started. It can take seven to 21 days to make a jelly bean. True or false? One true. The White Night Festival takes place in St. Petersburg, Russia. True or false? One true. Sesame oil consumption can help prevent cancer. True or false? Two false. Identify this food. The four decibel amount. 
From which country does the famous crisp bread originate? Three Sweden. For how long does Passover take place? Three eight days. What is the supernatural being associated with this festival? One leprechauns. What of uh, which of these terms is associated with Sundance Festival? Cinematography. Which of these food is not a major source of calcium? Four milk, four broccoli. Fenugreek is suggested as a remedy for which ailment? One control diabetes. And that's the end of your questions. That was brilliant, Vishwas. You were super quick, super confident. Well done. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. So with that, we come to the end of our participants' performances. And I must say, what a beautiful evening this has been to witness our young quiz champions ace their way to the competition today. Watching you all perform reminded me of the times that I participated in quiz challenges. And I'm sure the audience is watching us right now really enjoyed all the performances today. All right. So now that I see the results, Okay, there has been a tie. So now we're going to play a tiebreaker round. And the participants who will be playing this round are participant number three, Suraj, and participant number four, Ananya. So Suraj and Ananya, you'll be playing our tiebreaker round. First up, we'll start with participant number four, Ananya, and then we'll come to finish. So Ananya, brace yourself as we get started. Yes, ma'am. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Give me a moment here. All right. So all the rules for the tiebreaker remains the same, except that now you'll be answering three questions. And you'll get five seconds to answer each question. All right, Skora, please note we'll be using tiebreaker set one. Okay, just give me a moment here. We'll be using tiebreaker set one for participant four, Ananya. Ananya, can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Moderator, can you just give me a second? Okay, just, all right, no problem. Let's give a Skora a bit of time. So, Ananya, how are you feeling right now? Excited? Actually, yeah, excited. Okay, curious to know what questions you'll be getting. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, how was the uh, original round for you, the first round? Well, actually, I, I did not know a few questions, but I knew some of the questions. Okay, well, that uh, creates the opportunity for you to learn some new things today. So, that is a plus point again. All right. Great. Skora, please let me know once we can move ahead. Yeah, yes, yeah, now you can go ahead. All right, then, Ananya, get ready. We start now. Pizza Hut franchise was started in which country? To USA. Where is Victory Day celebrated? Three Turkey. The, des uh, the des dessert rum ball originated from? Two United States. All right. That's the end of your questions, Ananya. Well done. Now let's call upon Suraj. Suraj, are you ready? I am. Great. Let's get you started. One minute. Okay. Yeah. One minute. Uh... Just a bit of an audio check. Is yeah. it fine now? Now it's fine. Now it's great. All right. Uh, since I moved on to the next question, I'm going to change the set. And just let me quickly... Uh, Skora, please note, we'll be using tiebreaker set three for Suraj. Suraj, can you see the screen? I can see the screen. Great. Let's get started now. 
just give me one moment here. Just one moment. All right. Mm -hmm. So, Rich, let's get started. Identify the famous festival from Arunachal Pradesh. Dree Festival. Which was the first food eaten in Spain? Applesauce. Where do the square shaped sponge cakes called oh, Moderator, Moderator, just give me a second. There is a glitch in the scoring sheet. Just give me a second. Okay, all right. I'm so sorry, Suraj. Uh, we'll try this again. Hopefully, the glitch uh, resolves soon. Just give me a second. Wait for a few. All right, Sora, just let us know when we can move ahead. So uh, for now, let's talk. Would anyone like to share what was something that you liked about the challenge today? Something that stood out for you? Anything? Please raise your hand if you'd like to answer. Dhruva, would you like to say something? Uh, actually, I didn't hear what you told. Okay, so I was asking, uh, if you'd like to share, what was something that you liked about the challenge today? Uh, first thing, it was a more tough than the semifinals. And they were not very boring. Oh, okay. I think so that's uh, it. Uh, great. Aditi, go ahead, please. We learned a lot of new things and I really like the presentation. That is good. Right? Okay, that's wonderful. I'm, I'm glad that you liked it. Ananya, please go ahead. Mom, I liked how everybody answered and to see how many like new festivals are there. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for your comment here. Anybody else like to comment anything else? Okay, so uh, since we have a little bit more time since the issue gets resolved, why don't we play an activity? Let me uh, share my screen here. Just give me a moment. Or let's get to know about each other's favorites. So one by one, we go one by one. You have to share two things. Your favorite person, as in uh, an idol that you, you know, uh, believe as your idol in your life, some, someone you look up to, and second, your favorite book. So participant one will be starting, and after that, they'll be tagging the next person. So we won't go in the, uh, they'll be tagging the next person. So we won't go in the uh, sequence of participant one, two, or three. You can tag anyone you'd like to go after you, all right? So let us start with our first participant. Yes, ma'am. My favorite person is my mom and my favorite book is Harry Potter, like any of Harry Potter books. Okay, so I don't wow. have a particular one. All right, that's great. Uh, would you like to tag someone to go next? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Kavya. Kavya, please go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Ma my favorite person is uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni and my favorite book is uh, ma'am The Jungle Book. Wow, interesting choice. Uh, who would you like to go next? One group. Group? Your turn. My favorite person is Elon Musk. My favorite book is Facebook. Okay, interesting choice once again. Please tag someone to go next. Uh, Vishwas. My favorite person is Srikanth Kidambi and my, my favorite book is Percy Jackson. Wow, amazing. Please tag someone uh, to go after you. Suraj. Okay, uh, I'm Suraj Pai. My favorite person is uh, APJ Abdul Kalam and my favorite book is Magnus Chase. Okay, amazing. Uh, please tag someone to go next, Suraj. I would like to tag uh, Joshua. 
Joshua. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my favorite person is Ratan Tata, and my favorite book is uh, Secret Seven. Okay, that is amazing. Please tag someone to go next. Uh, yes, ma'am. Ananya. My favorite person is my mother, and my favorite book is Tinkle. Wow! So so far, we have not seen any repetition of books. So that is amazing. You have interested and unique choices. Uh, Ananya, please go ahead and tag someone. Ma'am Akriti. Akriti. Ma'am. Yes, go ahead, please, Akriti. Ma'am, it's not Akriti. It's Dhruva. Ma'am, can I get my charger? Okay, Dhruva. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay, do we have Akriti in the meeting with us? Seems like she got disconnected. Okay. Uh, I guess Akriti will be back soon. So can you please tag someone else for now? Ma'am, Ma'am Pari. Okay, Pari, go ahead. Ma'am, my favorite person is my mom and dad. Like I have two, and my favorite book is Akriti. All right. Please tag someone to go after you. I could tag Suraj. Suraj has already uh, shared his answer. Then uh, Dhruva. Dhruva has also, I think, shared his answer. Okay, let's ask Akriti. Akriti. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I, it seems that there is some internet issue. Your voice is breaking. Can't really hear you. Okay, all right. Uh, well, uh, please try to move to a place with better interconnect, internet connection if possible. And also, please turn on your video. Okay. So now we are ready to go further with our tiebreaker round. So Suraj, let's get started. Okay. Scott, um, please note, we'll be using tiebreaker set four for Suraj. Suraj, can you see the screen? I can see the screen. Okay, then let's get started. McDonald's originally started out by selling what? Sandwiches. In which country is the Notting Hill Carnival held at the year? United Kingdom. Where did the caviar originate from? France. And that's the end of your questions. Amazing. Well done. All right. Give me a moment here. And let's give our scorer a little bit time to figure out the results now. Till then, uh, as we have successfully journeyed our way to October, we have something really exciting planned for November's GK quiz, which we'll be sharing uh, really soon with all of you. So please do keep an eye out for that. Also, I would like to share about some of the upcoming challenges we have on the All Rounder Cup. And here. I hope everyone can see the if it's not yet visible, please give me a thumbs up. Everybody hear me? Yes, I am back. And I hope everybody can see this sharing. We have some amazing upcoming challenges here on the All Rounders Cup, like speed map. Um, your voice dance, is breaking. Singing, blinking. Public speaking. Okay, I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, 
give me a moment. I think there's an internet issue. Is it better now? Any better? Yes, ma'am. Is better. it still breaking? It's better, okay, ma'am. Great. Uh, please note that your reports, scores, and participation certificates will be shared with all of you within the next two days. And uh, a link for registering will be shared in the chat box right now, which will help you register for the challenge. And for our audience who's been watching us live, you can find the link for registration in the video description. So please do check out the upcoming challenges after you log out from here. All right. So now I thoroughly enjoyed all of our participants' performances. Let us also ask our scorer who's been here with us what she thought of the challenge today. Yeah, hi everybody. Um, I just want to say you guys did an amazing job. The scores are literally so close and uh, you guys are amazing. You guys are so much inspiring to all of us. And that's it. All the best for your future performances, guys. Thank you so much, Kara. All right. So now the time that we've all been waiting for the results. Are we all excited? Well, Please make sure that we do not forget the, uh, the agreement and let's not forget to celebrate each other's victory. Also, please do not feel bad if you do not win today because winning is not the only uh, thing, the only criteria that we try to promote here. We try to promote here supporting each other and learning from each other and getting better each day. So let's not feel bad and let's uh, celebrate each other in their all right, so now the participant who's won third position in today's competition and the winner is Ananya. Congratulations. How are you feeling, Ananya? I feel very happy. Bye. Amazing, you did really well today. How did you prepare? Um, actually, like it took uh, like festivals and foods from other countries from Google, and then I discussed with my brothers. All right, so the effort you put into it really paid off. You did amazingly well. Congratulations, once again. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Now, the participant who's won second position in today's competition. And the winner is Suraj. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Suraj. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Though I'm a bit disappointed that I got second place, but it's okay. Well, I feel like I can make I can do better. Uh, there's always room for improvement. Really well today as well, Suraj. So kudos to you for that and congratulations once again. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So now, last but not the least, the participant who's won first position in today's competition. Okay, I think there's some internet issue once again. I hope I'm audible to everybody. Can you please get a confirmation, Cora? Your voice is breaking a little bit. All right, give me a moment, sir. Wow, talk about timing. I'm so sorry for that. All right, so let us resume. The participant who's won first position in today's competition and the winner is 
Just give me a moment here. All right. Vishwas. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations. How are you feeling, Vishwas? I'm feeling really great. I'm excited. Well, that's very evident from the big smile on your face. How did you prepare for the challenge today? I, as usual, I um, read from the links and the prep guide. And uh, if I did not understand, I looked from Google. Wow. So you do not leave any stone unturned uh, when it comes to gaining knowledge. And that is something that we should all strive for. Which was, you uh, were commendable today. Congratulations once again. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Uh, and thank you to each one of you here for cheering for one another. This is our biggest takeaway to learn from each other and show our support for them. Each one of you has put in immense efforts and I am proud of you all for coming here and putting yourselves out there. And for our audience who has been watching us live and for our all our amazing uh, participants, the November challenges are all now live for you to register. We have 12 mm -hmm. upcoming challenges including our brand new competitions, IQ, art, debate, role play, and grammar that all of you can participate in. And uh, going forward, all of the challenges on the All Rounder Cup will be free of any charges. So you can register for as many challenges as possible. All right. Uh, please do not forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe our videos uh, and our YouTube channel. I hope you had a great time, everybody. And that is now a wrap for our GK quiz final. However, you can still find this, uh, rewatch this challenge uh, on our All Rounder Cup YouTube channel. And I really wish to see you all in the upcoming challenges. Please do also check us out on Facebook and Instagram and our website, allroundercup.com. Uh, take care, everybody, and happy learning.